This is Bill, it's now or never. Bill's subject is on the third on the left hand side and he's chosen a position such that the light is adjacent to the subject but not directly in his face. Both of which are good points. It's now or never. It's clearly never because he doesn't go over the edge. I wonder what the shutter speed was. A little bit too slow or a little bit too fast. Either way, he's nearly stationary, the subject, and therefore he's got away with it. Had he gone over the edge, a faster shutter speed would have frozen the action. In this case, he has gone over the edge and the shutter speed is high enough, so consequently the cyclist has been frozen in mid-air and that's very good. Again, the subject is on the third, the light is adjacent to the subject and it's giving us a very good image. It's all shook up, what a nice image. A slow enough shutter speed for the movement in the leaves to show that there is some movement. So very good on that point. I wonder where the subject though is. There's no real focus of attention, but it certainly is all shook up. Brenda's all shook up, the juggling man, very good. Nice choice of shutter speed. I hope it wasn't automatic but quite clearly the balls are moving they're not exactly sharp that's great because it's showing movement the juggler has his attention from the right hand third up to very near the left top third and that's really well composed excellent Brenda well done not sure the buttercup is really moving although the leaves in front are moving so although the buttercups in a nice one third in one third down position and the leaves are moving perhaps the subject of the image is the buttercup itself so didn't quite tick all the boxes Brenda's what's that some sort of uh, fairground ride they certainly are all shook up and uh, it's very well observed and very well taken. Lots and lots of movement in this image and I love it. Very good. Once again, subject of the photo clearly is the feet of the passengers or the victims and it's nicely positioned. Well done. Lots of movement. Brenda's saxophonist can't quite understand how it's all shook up but it's certainly a nice image of the man's contorted facial expression. Now the um, cocktail shaker, I think I've seen this one before, is very good in that you've chosen a slow enough shutter speed for the cocktail shaker to be moving whilst the uh, subject, the gentleman involved, is nearly sharp. It's just on the edge of sharpness and perhaps uh, a little bit faster shutter speed would have helped. But once again it's nicely positioned. It certainly takes the uh, takes the subject of the, uh, the photo and shows it very well. So well done on that one. Diana, I walked the line. The man seems to have no head <laughs> and he's walking out of the image but he certainly is walking along what looks like a curbstone or whatever. It's a very busy image where the focus of attention, in fact the focus of the camera is on the graffiti rather than the man. So it's interesting to see that um, someone is walking along there 
and whilst graffiti can form a very important backdrop, a very useful backdrop, doesn't really hit the mark in my opinion, um, but well seen and well thought of. Diana's I walk the line with four ropes holding an old barge in the mud. It's certainly addressing the word line, but I'm not sure how I walk the line comes into it. It's a very nice photographic image, and you might have considered getting down on your knees and photographing a long rope towards the barge, with the, fo the focus being the, uh, the point to which the ropes are tied. That probably wouldn't have addressed the subject, but it makes a jolly interesting photo. And of course it's leading lines, so well done on that. Traffic lights for the green man, I walk the line. That's jolly well thought of. I like that. I like that a lot. What you really need is somebody walking across the pedestrian crossing there. But well seen. Keep trying, you're nearly there. Down as I walk the line with the clown man. Again, I don't quite understand how the picture of the clown, which is a very nice portrait, um, positioned a little oddly, um, but I don't understand how it addresses the subject of walking the line. Um, as a portrait, it's very nice. I like the light off to one side. I like the eyes and the colourfulness of everything that's going on there. Street photography is never easy. And that's a, a very good attempt. Maybe we ought to do a session on street photography. Man with a guitar on his back, walking along a dark alleyway very good I walk the line looks like a very lonely guitarist is that in the song don't know but I like the photo I like that photo a lot you've retained the detail in the shiny wood of the guitar you've got darkness uh, that he's walking into and you've even got leading lines from the uh, the grills on the right hand side I like that photo Uh, two pink laced trainers walking along what looks like a miniature railway track. Very nice. I like that a lot. The focus of attention is held well by the pink laces on the trainers and she's clearly walking the line and I like it. It addresses the title of the song very nicely indeed. You might have considered getting down low so as to take the, the shoe really close up and get that focus and the leading line being the, uh, the railway line leading to and through the shoe. Yeah, I like that a lot. Ticks lots of boxes. Uh, Doreen from a Jack to a King. I think we've seen this one before when we had our chat. I think that's very nice indeed from a Queen to a king and the wedding ring and yeah that's in the words in the song so I think it addresses it very nicely and it's an attempt at uh, uh, tabletop difficult to get the ring quite in focus but I think it very nearly is it very nearly is so good attempt from a jack to a king Doreen absolutely addresses the title. Can't say otherwise. Very nice. I like the selection of cards. Iris, remember me. What a good shot. Street photography, never easy. A lovely setting. Beautifully exposed and beautifully focused. I like that a lot. The subject is on the bottom third, left hand third, that's very nice. Quite clearly the brightness on the right hand side of the image is distracting me from looking at the couple who are having a kiss and a cuddle. Um, nonetheless, I think it's a jolly good image and I think the leading line 
of the the handrail is bringing me in to the couple I'd crop it to a square format or somehow use a graduated filter to take down the right hand side significantly otherwise I think it's jolly good Janet blue moon lovely not sure that rose is blue to me but still it's very nice top third left third for the subject very nicely positioned center of the rose on that point nicely exposed and delicately processed very good Janet's blue moon you saw me standing alone I think I think that's very good yeah, I saw you standing alone and the the one-legged owl or is it a pigeon standing there looking at you looking at him ah, I think that's really good that's made me smile so that's got to be a winning photo Janet's without a love of my own very good I like the way you've crossed out the heart within a heart certainly has a story about it exposures good details good yep it's um, certainly addressed without a love of my own very good indeed and then there suddenly appeared before me the only one my arms will hold always difficult to take photos of statues because they are quite clearly somebody else's artwork unless you can do something to the statue through the photography then it becomes uh, as it were second hand but I understand it's well seen and it it does address some of the words in the question in, in the song so nicely seen when I look to the moon it turned to gold very nicely positioned full moon beautifully exposed exactly in the place that you want it in the frame very nice indeed now I'm no longer alone two monkeys on a perch yep it's ever so easy for judges to say well if you'd moved to your left or if you'd lifted the camera or dropped the camera to waist level but there's probably a fence in the way or barbed wire or a window frame um, so yes it does address now I'm no longer alone um, and uh, the subject if the subject is as it should be the closest monkey uh, then I think he's in the right position perhaps a little more to the left third would have helped um, but it's not easy because I don't know the position you were standing to photograph those monkeys don't be cruel the hawk look, <laughs> looking at what looks like a, a hamster is it okay um, very good very good nice bit of photoshopping there love that one yeah good pity they bo both weren't there on the same day but still there we go <laughs> very well done Mo <laughs> and it made me smile the insect zapper well this is this is obviously judge bait specially put in for Suzanne to spot whether it's photoshopped or not and of course it's not is it Suzanne no it's not it's Blooming excellent, I love it. Yes, insect clear, don't be cruel. <laughs> Very good. The policeman putting the handcuffs on the old man with the tie on. Very good, don't be cruel, excellent, love it. Um, certainly there's a story there in that photo which relates directly to the title. So, yeah, very well seen. Um, had you chosen a wider aperture, so it's a smaller number, bigger, uh, bigger hole, the background would have been out of focus. Therefore, 
it would have been a, a far better photo. The goose looks like a wooden one nailed onto the bench. <laughs> and the cooked goose, um, yes, don't be cruel. Yeah, okay, makes me smile. Tells a story, I like it. Cutting up the Visa card, how lovely, what a jolly good idea. Well thought of, like that. The scissors give me a leading line into the Visa card. The Visa card's being cut up and the uh, the bags of, of goodies in the background quite, quite clearly uh, make an, a good background. I love the reflection of the bags in the shiny tabletop. Very nice indeed. Gentle on my mind, a gentle stroll from Ray. Yep, I, I like this. I see the way he's interpreted this title. The two walkers, the uh, uh, the red top and the red trousers, the white top and the white trousers go very nicely together. Would have been quite useful to step forward, if it was possible, if there wasn't a ditch in front of you, to just use it as a frame within a frame. Framed by the two walkers on the path, the leading line of the path, and the frame uh, of the bridge and its two supports framing the two walkers. It's got the essence of, very, of a very good photo. Well done, Ray. Gentle on my mind, looking at Doreen, strolling in this nice pastoral scene alongside the river. Very well composed, very well seen. I like it. Suzanne, now beyond the bend, very nice. What's distracting me is the bright sky above the bridge, and that could easily have been cropped off. That would leave me with a rather lovely reflection looking through the frame within the frame under the bridge as the river or the canal turns to the right. Yeah, I like that as an image. Should have stepped forward. Don't tell me you would have fallen in the water. I know. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> zoom in, dear, zoom in. Suzanne, beyond the bend. I love it. Leading lines of the uh, the ice flow of the river there. Or is it a glacier going around the tree and around the mountain and off into the distance? Very good. Very nice. I like that. Uh, maybe crop some of the sky out. And uh, don't be afraid to crop out. Uh, I think that's that's got the essence of a very good photo. Um, could do with a little bit of photoshopping. Now these two mating boulders seem to be well enjoying themselves in private, shall I say? Um, not quite sure how it's beyond the bend, but I don't want to go into that. Um, you seem to have taken it straight into the sunlight, which is a jolly good way to take photos. You do get some nice effects that way. So photographically, had this been a picture of somebody else's artwork, it would have been interesting. I can't really see beyond the bend, except you're telling me there's perhaps a mechanical digger or some people through the arch, in which case, it's framed within a frame and perhaps you could have got down low and shuffled up to the uh, the right hand uh, uh, figure if it's a figure but um, as a photo of mating lumps of rock I think it's mm, excellent now we're talking now that is a frame within a frame Look at that wonderful view through this arch. What is it? I can't make out what it is, but it's really good. And it's looking through and beyond the bend and the scenery beyond. I love it. That's a very, very good photo. Three people, the magic number, absolutely perfect. Uh, no photoshopping needed. Really nice. I like that a lot. All I would suggest is that if you'd moved it about 
half of half an inch, half a whatever, to the left and just got that oval slightly off center. That would have been even better, but it's a cracker. I like that. I like that a lot. A lot of old tiles beyond the bend. Terrific. So I've got leading lines of tiles and what look like stone bricks and more tiles taking me up to the top left hand picture the left hand of the picture but there's nothing there so we've got a leading line going to nowhere and we need, need something up there could be a swan or a boat or something photoshopped in but it's nice I like it as leading lines now these bends on the mountain side somewhere I'm gonna guess in Italy yeah, only problem here is that the lake is running downhill to the left and you have got to watch horizons. Um, apart from that, yes, you've got a, a vehicle on the bend there. Looks nice, looks good. It's a record shot. High heel sneakers, Terry. Yes, I know what you're into. Good boy, very nice. I've got a smile on my face at that one. I think it's good. I wouldn't actually put the title on it if I were, if I was making it, but I think as as a photo that addresses the uh, the title of the tune, I think it works fine. And yep, yeah, made me smile. Tells a story. I love it. Once again, high heels and sneakers, the feet, very nice. Uh, I like that, it's well seen, and uh, you've taken it from very low, so that's good. Hope you managed to get back up again after getting the camera down that low. Very well done. Um, that's got lots of potential as a technique. Get your camera right down low and see what you come out with. You know, take a hundred, keep one. That's good. Terry's red dress. And the lady putting on it. Put on your red dress, baby. Very good. Good photo that addresses the subject of the music. I like it. Um, wider aperture would have got the, the lady in focus and cast the background, which is a little bit uh, busy, uh, into, into softness, out of focus. And that would have helped there. You could just have done the head and shoulders and gone right in close. We didn't need to see the full length of the dress um, but it would have enabled you to get to the background this busy background out of focus same again really um, yeah I, I, I like the idea I think it addresses the subject nicely but the first one was better same again really um, yeah I, I, I like the idea I think it addresses the subject nicely but the first one was better Roger it's now or never very good two bears Wow that is good yes I like it difficult photographic um, uh, environment because of the brightness of the trees behind and the fact that the bears are in shadow not an easy thing to address and digital cameras don't do it as well as film cameras used to but nonetheless it's it's good I like it, it certainly addresses the um, the title of the, of the song and uh, it's well composed and well exposed it's sharp where it should be and the background is slightly out of focus so that's great <clears throat> Roger it's now or never so it's a once in a lifetime trip but to me it's a record of a very nice beach on a nearly horizontal seaside venue uh, <clears throat> but it doesn't to me say that it's now or never um, <clears throat> uh, it's a very nice record shop got to watch the horizontals though it seems that the world is going downhill to the left to me looking at that
it's now or never <coughs> this globe with what looks like the, the sun reflected or some nuclear explosion underwater going off yeah interesting photo people are looking up at this dome I have no idea what that yellow is it doesn't actually okay if that's the sky it looks the sky looks like a beach to me in the background um, it's now or never mm, okay it's in the right place it's focused well very difficult lighting conditions because there's no light on the people they are in silhouette nonetheless um, it's certainly um, uh, the end of the day uh, I'm not sure how well it addresses the the title it's now or never um, but there we go nicely seen Well, I think that the group did very well in addressing the not easy subjects that they were given. But there again, nothing that's worthwhile doing is easy, so well done to everyone. It certainly brought a smile to my face, and uh, I think that's been an excellent effort by everyone.